Hello everyone, this is Viewee and I want to teach you how you can add with comparators. So comparators have two options. You can either compare lines or if you right click the comparator, you can subtract subtract uh, redstone lines. But there is no feature which you can add with comparators. This one you gotta figure out yourself. So let's see how the subtraction works. Here we have two lines that we can compare and subtract from each one. So we have 15. So let's input 15. It will give us a full 15. But now let's subtract from the 15. Let's subtract 13. So 15 minus 13 equals a 2. That's the subtraction. That's really easy. Let's try 14 minus 12. It will give us 2 again, since 14 minus 12 also equals 2. We can use that to get the, the results we want. So if we get a device that will always subtract from 15, 14, 14, we will, sorry, 14, we will always get a 1, which is basically what we're doing. If we'll use the device, we'll add 1. Let's check it out, this out. So here we got this device. This will always set the result to 1, and this will give us 2. Just what we want, right? So 1, this is what we get. And then if we try 2, we get a 2. Excellent. So, have we uh, succeeded to add with comparators? The answer is actually no. Because this is just adding, this is setting. We set the line over here to be 2. We're not adding 2. Let's, let me show you what I mean. If we'll add 2, and then we'll add 1, we should get 3, right? But that's not the case, because we get a 2. Because we set it to 1, and then we set it to 2. And, and then we never set it to 3, so it will remain on 2. It will remain on the highest number, which is currently 2. If we'll get a device which will set it to 3, it will be set it to 3. But that's not what we want, right? We want to be able to add, which is what we have over here. So let's take a look of what we have here. Let's do it simple. We have here a line of with... Uh, represents full 15 going through these comparators but at the end it doesn't give any output why is that well here we have a device that subtracts one so it subtracts one from that full 15 so now we're left we're left with 14 here we have a device that subtracts two so it subtracts two from that 14 and now we're left with 12 it goes through hit this comparator, and here we have a device that subtracts 4. So 12 minus 4 equals 8. And here we have a device that subtracts 8. So 8 minus 8 will remain a 0. Th this is why we get no output. But now, if we'll stop uh, subtracting 1, what we'll get is 15 going through this, and then subtracting 2. And it doesn't subtract 1. So it's subtract 2, and then 4, and then 8, and we're left with 1. So this is what we get. The same goes with any other number. Let's not subtract 4. So 15 minus 1, which is 14, minus 2, which is 12, minus not, not minus 4, so it, it remains 12, and then minus 8. And we're left with 4, which is what we get. So now, if we'll add to that 4, 1, like this, we'll get a 5. How does that happen? Well, instead of adding, we desubtract, or not subtracting. We get a 15, and we're not subtracting 1. Usually we subtract 1, so we get uh, an, an output which represents nothing, basically a 0. But once we, doesn't, we don't subtract it, we'll just have 15, and then we'll remain with 1, because we didn't subtract it. So if we wouldn't subtract 4, or basically add 4, and we wouldn't subtract 1, which will basically add 1, will remain with a 5. Because 15 minus 2 minus 8 is a 5. Let me show you what I mean in another device. This is what we have over here in the right. So, it doesn't. this here will give us a, a, t a 9. So, over here we have a 9. This comparator represents a 9. So it goes through this, and it subtracts 1 and then 3, and then 5, and we remain with 0. You can uh, modify it yourself to subtract what you want, and then you 
add all these numbers to get what you want here. So here we have 1, 2, 4, 8, like binary. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 will be 15. So we want to input this here, 15. Here I have modeled it to be 1, then 3, then 5, which in the total is 9. So this device here will give us a 9. Going through this long line, subtract 1, subtract 3, subtract 5, and we remain with 0. So now if we desubtract 3, we'll get a 3. And if we we'll desubtract 1, we'll now get 4, since it's, long in, it's only 9 minus 5. You get it now? Hopefully you do, because this is when the video ends. So, this is how you add with comparators. I hope you learned something today, and maybe you can make magnificent calculators with using this technology. So, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, or leave a comment, and bye-bye!